Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. As you can see, we have a square wave pulse um, being generated by the Arduino. So how do we do this? First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what the connection looks like. So at the moment, I have the Arduino Duo connected. So I have a wire connecting from digital analog converter pin number zero all the way to analog input number seven so essentially we are regenerating our square wave with this pin and we are reading the square wave with this pin kind of like a, a digital multimedia or an oscilloscope so we should be able to see it with the serial plotter now looking at the code as, as you could see we have the we are printing out the serial print line is we are showcasing the output value and the output value is being read by an analog read analog pin which is our a7 analog pin a7 and um, so the way we are generating our wave is essentially a pretty simple um, configuration all right so you need to have a function generator dot ino which is an arduino file id and you need to have a waveforms dot h file which is where the square wave um, configuration so let's go ahead and open this function generator um, Arduino file. Okay, so when we open it up, you will notice that we have a second file opened up here. So when you go all the way at the end, this is where we have our square wave. So this this is an example. Um, this this particular. Um, this particular code is an example from this website. So if you go to the Arduino.cse, excuse me, if you go to Arduino.cc reference um, file, you could see a fantastic um, example that they showed. So this example in theory should produce a couple different waveforms. And this is a triangle all the way to um, square wave so for this video we only care about this square wave and if you go to the so this is the code that they use and if you go to the waveform file um, this is a sine wave uh, configuration file and if you go all the way at the end this is a square wave so for this video we will be focused on this particular part of the um, wave of the signal wave make sense so now let's go ahead and you know clean up our code to reflect what we are interested so we are only interested on the wave number three so I initialized the wave number to just the wave number three and uh, we are including that file which is this guy right here which is also in our um, root folder so we we also want to read the signal from the digital analog converter so we declared an analog pin to read our signal then we also want to store the reading to a, a variable which is output so we declared an integer to store whatever we read we read here and we also want to display it in our serial plotter so over here we are getting our sample initializing our sample size writing the sample to a an digital analog converter pin number zero so this is actually how we actually um, inject the signal or you know play it out out of digital analog converter zero and over here we are reading it from re remember so we 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 inject it here then we read it here make sense 
uh, let's see if I can let's the, the, so we are injecting it from digital analog convert to zero then it goes up to analog analog um, pin number seven makes sense and over here we are actually serial print, printing it then this is essentially you know saying that whenever we reach the maximum whenever we reach this end reset it and start playing again so essentially we are replaying this um, signal over and over and over and over again all right so now let's go ahead and upload it to our our Arduino door all right no we still uploading <clears throat> All right, we are done uploading. So we can either do a serial monitor or a serial plotter. For this particular example, let's use our serial plotter. And as you could see, we are generating a nice um, square wave. Now, if you want to increase the sample, um, you actually can you know, reduce this um, sample weight, sample Rate and let's go ahead and reduce it, reduce it to maybe ten thousand, and notice that we delay in the, by based on the sample var variable. So let's reduce it to one thousand and upload it again. Here we go. So some sometimes I don't know this board. Sometimes it just um, does not the Arduino IDE does not recognize the board sometimes. So now it's done uploading let's go ahead and plot it you will notice that in the C our square wave is um, outputting a lot more faster so this is a very higher um, a higher sample rate higher um, frequency so yeah that's all, all I have uh, if this is helpful um, please go ahead and subscribe to see this type of content and um, I will talk to you later bye bye